Today we're gonna go over how to connect WAPI AI to make.com. WAPI AI is an excellent tool for creating voice assistants that can handle in and outbound calls for your business. But what if you wanted to call someone from our CRM with all the informations available we have from them? For that, we need to connect it to make.com. And with that, my name is Tim. My company, Xmas, is helping you fill up your team's calendar with qualified appointments, leveraging AI and automation. Let's get started. First, we need to understand the difference between two different types of agents. First, we have the inbound call, which is when somebody calls your business, obviously. And for that, we want to have an assistant that can detect the number, check the CRM if the number already has an entry, and get the entry or the information from that entry from a CRM. And for that, we dynamically create an assistant which knows everything about the connected number. And the other option is the outbound call. This is when we, for example, cold call somebody. Uh, let's say we want to call Mike and uh, we have some information about Mike and then we want to dynamically create an assistant that knows everything we know about Mike and that can talk with Mike and book Mike into your calendar. And also during the call, we want function calling and in WAPI, we can create the function call listener and the function call response. And after the call, we want to have the call reports, transcripts and summaries, for example, also and we do that through make.com. In this video, we are gonna create an outbound caller. This assistant will call our customers and update them on how our project is coming along. And obviously for that to happen, you are gonna create an account at uh, WAPI AI. Just try for free and then you are gonna get launched to the dashboard. When you log in, your dashboard will look similar to this. You won't have any assistance created here, but uh, you can just click on create assistant and select here. You can go with a blank template, name your assistant. Then you are gonna see this. Our assistant is called Sunny. Sunny is an assistant for Best Solar. Best Solar is just an imaginary company. And the objective of Sunny is to update our, our customers on their solar installation timeline and how everything's coming along. This here are the first words Sunny would say. As soon as somebody picks up the phone, she would say, hi, this is Sunny from Best Solar. Am I speaking to you? the first name, for example, Tim, like my name. Then she will introduce herself, provide the project update, highlight what's next in the project, and then like encourage any questions the customer might have and obviously assist them in the questions and then just express some enthusiasm and gratitude. And that's already it. This is a demo CRM. I created it uh, to show you how it would work in this video. Uh, this is me. I also put in my phone here, but I blacked it out. And these are the project milestones. These are the milestones for which Sunny will call our customers. And if something changes, in here for example if I change from permitting to financing Sunny will call them and update them on their on the progress and the reason why we're using make.com and dynamically creating assistance is because we need the data from the CRM I just showed you dynamically for example the first name here this needs to be personalized I can't have Sunny say hi this is Sunny from best solar and I'm speaking to first name this is not something we want to happen and that's why we need to dynamically create these as assistants so they know the information the first name for example the project status everything right away and the thing is this is not possible inside of WAPI AI directly we could create functions over here but functions are quite slow so for example if you created a function that fetches the first name from the CRM it would be like this hi this is Sunny from Best Solar am I speaking to thinking 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 mark and we don't want this the big pause is just not good and that's why we need the assistant to have the information beforehand so it just can talk and talk and talk and don't have to think about it so now the question is how do we do it at make.com and that's quite simple i'm just going to show you how in your make.com dashboard you are going to go on create new scenario and then go to google sheets search for get and get range values this is what you want you need to have your google drive connected etc i already did that and then you are gonna search for HTTP and make an HTTP request. This is the main focus of this video, but as a short explanation, the purpose of this Google Sheets here is to dynamically fetch the data from our sample CRM here. So it's gonna read my data here. And if I update something in the project milestone, then make.com will notice that it will fetch the data and then dynamically create an assistant via an HTTP request. For the HTTP to make the request, we need to have a JSON code. This might look a bit complicated, but it's actually quite simple. We can make it on the WAPI website and I will just show you how now. To create the JSON file, you are gonna go to docs.wapi.ai. This is the address you are gonna go. And then you will land on this site here, on the documentation page. 
you will just click on API reference, create a call, and then click on the play button here. First thing you need to do is to log in via your API key. I already did that, but you will go to your WAPI dashboard, click on uh, your profile down below, go to API keys, and then your keys here. Just gonna copy it via this button and then go back to the API reference and post it in here. Click done. And it's and it's ready for the next part we need to adjust the body parameters the body parameters are gonna give us the json code which is then posted here for us to paste into the mac.com automation just we, we take it slow from here so you can follow along the first thing we are gonna do is we can give it a name this is not that important but we can just call it sunny for the second thing the assistant id we don't really want to give it an assistant ID. We could specify to use Sunny, the the assistant I mentioned before and I showed you already. But if we took Sunny, then we would have a predefined assistant. And we don't want that. We want to dynamically create an assistant each time we call someone. So we don't want to specify Sunny here. We can just type in assistant to use a transient assistant and that creates a new assistant every time. The next thing are more assistant details. The first thing is the transcriber. The transcriber is basically what converts the spoken language into a text and then for example gets the transcript at the end of the call. We want to use DeepGram here and we can select the model to be Nova 2. Let's just see Nova 2 is here. That's all right. The next thing we want to select is the model. I'm gonna go on 27 more optional properties, click on model, get the drop down and go on open AI. We will select a model here. I'm going to go with GPT-40 real time preview. After adding the model, you will go on 10 more optional properties, click on messages, add new item. And then for the role, we will select assistant and then we will add the content and the content will be the prompt. The prompt is what we tasked our assistant to do here. This is sunny. This is the system prompt. We can just copy this and put it into here. Then also we will go to semantic caching enabled and put it to true. And also we are gonna add temperature. Temperature is how creative the assistant is. So if the uh, number is quite low, so zero, the uh, assistant is quite straight to the point. And if it's higher, then the assistant is more creative. But we want to create an assistant that is yeah, quite straight to the point. So we are gonna put it 0 0.5. Next thing we want to have a look at is the first message mode. First message mode is just defining who's gonna talk first. The default is assistant speaks first. We want that. So when uh, our customer picks up the phone, we want our assistant to immediately start talking. We don't have to, to choose this because it's the default. We can though. Next thing we want to have a look at is the HEPA enabled. HEPA is a compliance thing. If we want to record the call, which we normally want because we want to have the transcript and we want to have the recording uh, to listen to it, we want to have this turned off. If we turn it on, there will be no recording, no transcript, and that's not what we want. So just turn it off. It's also turned off by default. So we can put this away again. Next thing, we have background sound. We can uh, choose a background sound. So we can choose off or office here. If you want to have the assistant some background noise so it sounds more natural, you can just choose office. If you don't want to have it, just leave it like it is or turn it off. Next thing you might want to add is the silence timeout seconds. This dictates how long the call will continue when nothing happens, when nobody speaks. You can just type in a number here. The default is 30 seconds. You can just make it a bit longer. You can just make it 60 seconds. In the same term, what you might want to do is max duration in seconds. This dictates how long the call will go on for. Like you see here, the max duration is 43,200 seconds. If you want to have the call max 10 minutes, you can just type in 600 here. Next thing will be the first message. First message is basically what I what I mentioned before. When somebody picks up the call, what is the assistant gonna say? This is this message here. You can just copy and paste it over into here. What we want to add also, this is important, is the voicemail detection. This basically detects when nobody picks up the phone, if the voicemail picks up the phone. The thing is, <laughs> I had a few calls that were going wrong uh, because of the voicemail detection. So we want to keep this off, but we don't have to turn it off uh, manually. It's turned off already by default. Next thing, we want to add an end of call message. You can customize that how you want to. You can just say goodbye. I think this is quite straightforward. The assistant is just gonna say goodbye right before it ends the call. And obviously to call, we need a phone number. Just go on to phone number ID. And this is the ID of a phone number. I haven't talked about phone numbers yet. You will find them also on your Vapi dashboard. You can go to phone numbers and buy a phone number there. It's like two euros a month. So really affordable. And also if you're in non-US or non-Canada location, you can import phone numbers from Twilio. So you can either buy a phone number here or 
you can import a number from Twilio here. Since this is a new account, there is no phone number here. You just go ahead and buy one. And it's just the number on top of here. You're gonna copy that and go back and paste the number here. And with that, we finished the setup of the post request inside of Vapi. We can even test it by clicking on send request here. However, if we test it out this way, we will get an error message because we don't have specified a number which we want to call. And how do we get this into make.com now? It's quite simple. I can explain it via this code here. So this is the uh, header. This is the authorization, the API key. We paste it all the way at the top here. It's the bearer and then the API key. And the content type is application JSON. Uh, this is then the data, all which is coming below here. So to connect Vapi uh, with make.com now, we need to go to make.com and click on the HTTP request. The first thing we need to fill in is the URL. We will get the URL from here. It's the vapi.ai slash call. When you paste the URL in here, we want to change the method. We uh, have the method in front of the URL, it's post. So we're gonna select post here and we want to add a header. The first header is called authorization. You just copy this from here, paste it in here and then the value also. And for the value, we want to have the API key. And for the second header, we want to copy the content type and then copy the application slash JSON. For the body type, select raw. And like we specified here above, for the content type, select JSON. And this is the content which we will paste in there. The content is all this JSON code here. And from here, we can just copy this code here, starting with this curly bracket. Don't copy the thing before, just start with the curly bracket, go down and copy all the code. Control C, Control V. And we also don't want this thing at the end here, so just put it away. And now we basically created the assistant. We can just hit OK here. And now it would already work like this, but <laughs> obviously we want to dynamically create the assistants themselves. And for that, we still have to do something. And now to actually make the assistant functional, we first have to connect the Google Sheets, but in the best case, we already done that. Um, just put in the Google Sheets and where you find your, your document. And then you can go into here and in the content, you can specify the first names. For example, the details about the user first name, I can go in here and put in the first name. I'm just going to replace every variable I have in the prompt, which I copied into the assistant with the uh, uh, specified header of the row. And then the assistant is going to know who they are actually talking to and they have the information from the CRM. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. All right, so I've gone ahead and put all the information we need in here. So the project milestone, I've put in the first name and also what I forgot is I've put in the number. You can get this by going to the create call again and all the way at the bottom you will click seven more optional properties, customer, and then you will go and click in this number and you won't put anything in here. Just copy this additional code and put it on the bottom of here and then you're gonna type plus and then the phone number from the CRM. Let's let's try it out. Just gonna click on OK here and run it in the bottom left corner once and let's see what happens. So fetch the data and get the call. Hi, this is Sunny from Best Solar. Am I speaking to Tim? Yes, you are. I'm and yeah, call. that's the call. Um, that's basically how it works. Obviously the setup is uh, definitely not finalized and it needs much more tuning. But yeah, that's how it works. That's how you create an assistant that dynamically fetches data from your CRM and then calls your customer. This is how you connect Vapi and make.com. My hope is that you got some value from this video. And if you want me to make a video about incoming calls and all the other things that you can do with Vapi AI and make.com and all these tools, so definitely let me know down in the comments below if you want me to make a video about inbound calls and all the other topics regarding uh, Vapi AI and make.com and all those AI tools, automation tools. Just write a comment about the topic. Also, maybe what you thought about the video, leave a like. And yeah, if you want to find out more about me or my team or Eximos about my company, you find every link down in the description below. Also, if you want to work with me, feel free to hit me up. If you need anything, just give me a text and I'll see you in the next video.